In addition to the tools mentioned in the basic installation training section, you will need the following equipment to speed the process up. Rebar bender and cutter to pre-bend and cut all rebar. Sliding binder saw to pre-cut all corner and angle panels. Foam rasp to smooth cut edges. Laser level to check elevations. In order to speed up the process of corner construction, corner panels should be cut off site or in a central location on site. Angles of any degree can easily be constructed and braced through use of the quad locks angle bracket. First calculate the bisection of the angle. For instance, a 45 degree angle has a bisection of 22 and a half degrees. Set your saw to the bisection angle and cut two panels in mirror fashion that will total the desired angle. The key to making the angle bracket fit is to always cut through the center of the knob when cutting the bisection. Use angle brackets on the outside panels only. As with T-walls and 90 degree corners, build angles first and work to the common point in the wall. Where perpendicular walls meet, they form a T-wall intersection. As with 90 degree corners, T-walls should be constructed first. Use a full four foot panel to form the back of the T-wall. Avoid placing the joint in line with the T where higher concrete pressures exist. Align the joint with the outside of the T-wall leg. Place two panels for the leg of the T so intersecting panels will butt into them. Set the inside panels so as to maintain the normal layout with the outer panels, keeping the ends aligned. Place the smaller inside corner bracket over the two 90 degree corners. To secure the outside walls, place two large outside corner brackets as shown, so the brackets overlap in opposite directions along the outside row of panels. When secured with ties, these brackets will connect the outside of the T-wall to the leg of the T-wall and eliminate the need for external bracing. Place a full tie on either side of the T-leg as close to the T-leg as possible. Cut tie flanges and place between full ties at the center of the T. Place a full tie in the corner bracket at the top of the T-leg. Repeat this pattern on every row of the T-wall. Second row panels should follow the normal two foot offset with the middle of the panels falling on the joints of the panels below. Cut the last panel to allow for the T intersection. Start the T leg second row with two foot panels. Repeat the bracket and the tie pattern from the first row. Break. Brace the back side of the T with conventional bracing.